Hi guys, here we have our new topic quantum mechanics from module 3. Let me start. Up to 19th century, classical mechanics proposed by Newton was enough to explain all types of motion. But to understand the world of atomic or subatomic scale, a new branch is necessary that is called quantum mechanics. Classical mechanics failed to explain so many things like photoelectric effect, atomic structure, optical spectra, black body radiations. But after the introduction of Planck's quantum theory, all these are successfully explained. According to quantum theory, the exchange of energy between light and matter is not continuous, but is in small packets of energy called photons. So from this we can write the relation energy of photon is directly proportional to frequency of light that is we can write energy of photon is E is proportional to the frequency of light nu that is we can write this as E is equal to H nu where H is the Planck's constant and the value of H is 6.8. 626 into 10 raised to minus 34 joule second so this is the basic so then we have dual nature of radiations or wave particle duality of radiation at times the radiations behaves like a wave and at other times it behaves like a particle that is the radiation has a wave particle duality and we have we have two equations from Planck's quantum theory we have E is equal to H nu and from Einstein's mass energy relations we have E is equal to mc square when comparing these two equations we have h nu is equal to mc square from this we can we know that nu is equal to c by lambda so from this we can write lambda is equal to h by mc what is m into c mass into velocity which is momentum p is equal to m into v or here m into c so which is the momentum of photon okay understand next topic is dual nature of matter or matter waves or de broglie waves in 1923 de broglie extended the concepts of wave particle duality exhibited by radiation to matter according to him if radiations behaves as a wave at times and behaves as a particle at other times then the material particles like electrons protons and neutrons are behaves as a particles at times and also it behaves as a wave at other times according to de broglie the wave associated with a particle in motion is called a matter wave or it is called de Broglie wave. He derived the similar equations as for radiations and which is lambda is equal to h by mv or lambda is equal to h by p where m is the mass of particle and p v p is equal to m v which is momentum of the particle in this v velocity of the particle and lambda is de broglie wavelength and if the kinetic energy of a moving particle in a system is given that is kinetic energy is equal to half m v square so 
then we can write this as half mv square what is mv which is p mv is equal to p so instead of this mv square we can substitute p so this equation will become kinetic energy is equal to p square by 2 m or from this equation e is equal to p square by 2 m or p is equal to p is equal to root of 2 m e okay so the equation will become lambda is equal to h by root of 2 m e so this is de broglie wavelength if an electron is accelerated by a potential v then the de broglie relation lambda is equal to h by root of 2 mev so here we know that kinetic energy is equal to potential energy we have high kinetic energy equation half m v square is equal to potential energy ev from this relation if we are solving this we will get lambda is equal to sorry p is equal to root of 2 m e v so when substituting this this p in lambda is equal to h by p then we will get lambda is equal to h by root of 2 m e v so this is the relation if an electron is accelerated by a potential then the de broglie equation will become lambda is equal to uh, de broglie wave like this lambda is equal to h by root of 2 m ev so if we are substituting these values of h m e then we will get lambda is equal to 12.3 by root v angstrom or lambda is equal to root of 150 by v angstrom so this is for an electron in the case of an electron we will get this value next is heisenberg's uncertainty principle according to classical mechanics both position and momentum of a particle can be determined accurately but according to heisenberg's uncertainty principle since moving particle is regarded as a de broglie wave group there will be some limit to the accuracy with which we can measure its particle properties like position momentum energy etc so here we have position momentum uncertainty so according to heisenberg's uncertainty principle it is impossible to measure both the position and momentum of an object at same time and here if delta x is the uncertainty in position and delta p is the uncertainty in momentum then we can write this equation as delta x into delta px greater than or equal to h by 4 pi or delta x into delta p greater than or equal to h cut by 2 where h cut is h by 4 pi this is position momentum uncertainty then we have uncertainty in energy and time according to energy time uncertainty principle the energy of an object can be uncertain by an amount delta e for a time delta t which is approximately equal to h cut by 2 delta e so delta e into delta t greater than or equal to h cut by 2 where delta e is the uncertainty in energy and delta t uncertainty in time
then applications of uncertainty principle there are two types of application non existence of electrons in the nucleus or absence of electrons in the nucleus and uncertainty in frequency of light emitted by an atom or spectral lines have a finite width these two are the main applications of uncertainty principle so first case non existence of electrons in nucleus or the absence of electrons in the nucleus so here we have nuclear diameter is in the order of 10 raise to minus 15 meter if an electron exists inside the nucleus then the uncertainty in position which will be equal to the diameter nuclear diameter that is delta x approximately equal to 10 raise to minus 15 meter so we have the relation delta x into delta p greater than or equal to h cut by 2 from that we can write delta p is equal to h cut by 2 delta x when we are substituting the values we here h instead of h cut we can substitute h by 4 pi so value of h 6.626 into 10 raised to minus 34 divided by 4 into 3.14 into 10 raised to minus 15 so here we will get the answer 5.27 into 10 raised to minus 20 kilogram meter per second then the momentum of the electron p must be in the order of 5.27 into 10 raised to minus 20 kilogram per meter second so we have e is equal to p c that is if we are substituting the value of the momentum and velocity of light then we will get 15.81 into 10 raise to minus 12 joule so we are converting this joule into electron volt uh, for that divide this value by 1.6 into 10 raise to minus 19 electron volt then we will get 98.8 mev for an electron to be a constituent of the nucleus then it should have the energy of 98.8 mev but from beta decay experiments the energy of electrons is of the order of few mev only hence we cannot expect electrons in the nucleus so this is the first application non existence of electrons or the absence of electrons in the nucleus so next second and uh, second application is uncertainty in frequency of light emitted by an atom or the spectral lines having a finite width we have to prove that the spectral lines have a finite width for that here we have e is equal to h nu so from that delta e is equal to h into delta nu we can write this delta e is equal to h into delta nu we have the equation delta e into delta t in uh, greater than or equal to h cut by 2 so instead of delta <coughs> delta e we can substitute delta h into delta nu so we need to find delta nu so we have the equation delta nu is equal to h cut by h into delta t into 2 so from that 1 by 4 pi delta t if we try to measure the frequency of light emitted by an atom then there must be an uncertainty in frequency uh, of delta nu that is equal to 1 by 4 pi delta t where delta t is the lifetime of an atom at its, at its excited level that is for an atom in the excited level delta t must be equal to or approximately equal to 10 raised to minus 8 seconds so we can write delta nu is equal to 1 by 4 pi into 10 raised to minus 8 which is equal to 0.7 into 10 raised to 7 hertz that is 
an uncertainty in frequency is in the order of 10 raised to 7 hertz so this word width delta nu emitted line is experimentally observed thank you